Hey guys, I'm, I'm here with Mary. We're a little bit close, uh, but Mary hosted the Broker Bay training class here in our office today. And right. for those of you who haven't been paying attention, Broker Bay is the, the replacement for showing time or CSS or showing solutions or whatever we call it these days. What did you learn today in your training? Okay, so there's a couple things we need to be very aware of right off the bat. They need you to go online and the, there's an icon that's Broker Bay on our dashboard. Click it. The dashboard in the MLS? In the MLS, okay. like where you click to go to Matrix, there's a little bubble and it's Broker Bay. Click into that, set up your profile, and it'll ask you for your login and your password. It is your email address and, and create that. And then follow the link on your phone, go to the full MLS website on your phone, and when you pull it up, it'll say um, in the read now things, if you want an Android or an iPhone and you can download the link right to your phone and then and log a, in from and that's there. An app. That is an app that's okay. on your phone. So all of this is super mobile friendly. You can schedule your showings on there. You can add your listings on the mobile app or you can do it actually on the computer either way. So it's super easy to use, but as you have said in our trainings, there's going to be a learning curve. And there were some questions asked in the very first video that Zoom that they did today about some functionalities and features that our MLS is not giving us. Okay. And that was something like um, a, an easy offer, basically button, but it literally opened it up. So that offer went straight to your seller, which I don't recommend that. You need right. to know that there's an offer so you can present because that's our value proposition as realtors managing that. All right. Now, you, a while ago, we were in the conference room. We were having a, a quick conversation about this. Sorry, we're trying to get the small <laughs> camera here. Uh, you mentioned that they need to, once they get in, install the app, and they look at their profile, it should already show any of their listings. Yes, it should show your listings. And if for some reason your listings are not already showing in there that you have them, you need to contact Broker Bay, and I suggest you do that from your desktop because they have to force push them in. Do not try to do that yourself right now. And make sure that you're able to use the app and also at least log in and know where you're looking for it on the desktop because when this goes live, you're not going to have the easeability of picking up the phone and calling somebody that's gone right and it's, that goes live on the 29th right correct so correct. on the 29th the showing solution that you're used to having is, is over gone. you need to do this work now they had the first training class today mary hosted it here in the office there are a couple more training classes if you go onto your mls uh and log in you look at all those messages there's more information about it but guys when you wake up on the 29th if you have listings and you have not done this there will be no way for anybody to schedule a listing showing. or a showing on showing. your listing. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's a few functions on there. Like your, your clients can say something like, you know, one o'clock's not a good time for me, but two o'clock would be better. You need to have those conversations and or figure out how to turn that off. Because if, if I'm going to show your listing, Dave, and you're telling me I got 10 showings that I can't come at two o'clock when that fits into my little map, yeah. I'm going to skip your house. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've been licensed uh, for a little bit longer, like Mary and I have, we're used to being able to show somebody 10 or 15 houses on a weekend. Right. And in the last couple of years, we've just been like, look, here's your little window, make it work or we don't want your offer. Now that we're in that shifting market, it is really important that we have that conversation with our seller to do everything in their power to accommodate the buyer's agent's request. Right, and there is- Okay, so there's a couple of really good features that, that's on this. Like I'm hosting Thanksgiving, so I can actually ask my realtor to go in and shut my showings down for Thanksgiving day because I don't want anybody at my house. Or, you know, God forbid there's a death in the family or something. Yeah. You have the ability to go in through your portal and shut it down for the day. Or you have a day sleeper. You can keep people out of the house until 2 o'clock or, or whatever the case may be. But again, remember, when you start altering, when people can go into the houses in our economy and market we're in, you're, you're throwing people out of the swimming pool when you need them in the pool to buy your house. Yeah. 
So awesome. Great advice. First of all, I, I want to thank Mary for hosting that. I had a crazy busy day today. She took it on herself from our sales meeting to say, hey, I'll grab my laptop. I'll register. I'll, I'll let everybody come in and be part of that. So thank you. If you missed that today, there are, again, more opportunities for you to do it. Please don't wake up on the 29th of this month yeah. and have a problem on your hands. Get out in front of that now because this is a big change for us as an MLS. And those of us who are in front of that are going to be positioned well to continue to service our clients that first few days without headaches. And the people that were there today, I think you should go back and rewatch it again because at, at the end, when the man trying to explain everything to us got to the end and he was like, oh my God, there's so many questions, sent, a voice came on obviously from MLS going, well, they're not getting that feature, they're not getting this. So that training's gonna evolve. So I, I strongly suggest you watch it at least one more time. Awesome, Mary, thank you so much. You're awesome, we love you, you're cool. Thank you so much. All right guys, if you have any questions, give us a call and let us know. Thank you, bye.